We're going to start it from where it was before the power went out. Uh, all right, you guys are good to go. So do what you guys are doing. Uh, Ramin is going to take the first round. And they are going to burn their meter, so that way it's even. All right. How's it going, Derry? What's happening? So we did change one thing while you were gone. Now we have Derry on the mic. How are you doing? I showed up with the power went out. I, it's like that scene in The Prophecy when Christopher Walken shows up and all the power goes out. That's what happened. I swear, man, something new happens every time I stream. First time ever, power went out. Oh my god. And this is a horrible, horrible matchup for Cody. I feel like this is already lost. Well, if anybody can win, it's the confirmed best Cody in the world, DJ in the chain. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. He's the best. If you guys don't follow me on Twitter, I've said many a times he's the best. What? Yeah, there's an actual match. So Rami takes the first game. Shaky hands for me. I wonder. I can't see his hands. For those of you guys who don't know Rami, uh, we used what? to call him Shaky Hands Rami because whenever he would play a tournament set, his hands looked like Michael Michael J. Fox's hands. Like, really? They would be visibly not even not even shaking like like he was almost waving at the stick. They were moving so much. How does he play? I don't know. That's why we used to just marvel at it. That was sick. All right. So one one tool that Cody has in this fight is his light ruffian kick after step kick and basically what it does it puts you airborne for one frame and uh, if he goes for a grab you can't get grabbed and if he goes for a fierce punch you will fly out and you can punish him. So that's just match specific knowledge. It's just match specific knowledge yes and if you don't know that it makes this fight even harder. Well that's what bad matchups in Street Fighter 4 tend to be about is match specific knowledge. You gotta know the very specific tools and setups to win versus your bad match. Nice. Beat J using that standing uh, standing strong very effectively to zone out and repeat at the end there. The very uh, very good footy tool that not a lot of footy players utilize as much they, as they should. I, I agree, because uh, the only problem is it has a deceiving hitbox. It's not as good as you think it is, but it is three frames. It definitely reaches farther than 90% of the cast. That's, it, that's like almost bison status right there. Yeah? Yeah. That's pretty good. The only, the only downfall is obviously it doesn't combo into anything except right. specials. And this is where uh, Abel goes to town. Oh. Ooh. And he can ultra anywhere now. I don't know why they gave him that, but... Why not? Shout out to Capcom, right? Yeah. Thank you, Combo Fee! Thank you, Combo! Hey, you played Abel, right, before? Hey, you did. You know there's something behind that change. That's true. BJ using that light ruffian kick at... He's using it at the correct ranges, too. Oh. That was a big combo opportunity. Abel is such a tank, if he gets a life lead, it can be really hard to make comebacks on him because you don't want to play too aggressive against him. But when he has a large life lead, you kind of have to. Yeah. And he has, you know, the those that EX command throw. Or he, Abel has a really good back dash, too. Right. Very underrated back dash. Yeah. He's got a good focus. He's got a super annoying roll. Oh, the pressure from Ravine right now is so strong. Oh, wow. Okay, so he gets a random free knockdown. See if he can do something with it. Focuses the jump in. Oh. I think he went for another focus, but he was too late. Zoink. Oh, my God. That was a tech of a century. Uh, air to air. Immediate. Oh, there it is. Picks up the knife. Yes. Ooh. That crouch fierce, 120 damage. Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> oh, he just nice caught him. Oh, oh, oh he now he's chucking gravel. And this is still very scary. I mean, BJ can get out of trouble. He has three bars. Nice tech again. Oh, Rabin's air-to-air and anti-airs are so, so, so sweet right now. He's using that neutral nice. jump short 
or I'm sorry, Goose was not strong. Oh, oh he got oh, him with it. it! Can he finish it? He got him with that. With the duck truck. Ties it up 1-1. One, one. I always thought it was funny that Haunts played Cody because he kind of looks like Cody. Except, well, Cody's way more buff, but they have a very similar. Well, I mean, face. Cody's like more buff than I'd say 99% of everybody in the FGC, but except Haunt, maybe Drew Grimey. Haunts already had that really disinterested look on his face half the time, anyway. And they got the same kind of hair. But I mean, how can you, how can you play Sagat and then play Cody? Uh, you, gotta, you, gotta pick, you gotta pick one or the other. You can't play both of these characters. Wow, Ramin was uh, kind of squatting on the momentum in the first half of the set, but BJ is coming roaring back, and now he's sitting on uh, match four here. BJ is just making all the right guesses to get out. Ramin trying to focus through those standing, standing strongs. Nice tech. Oh. Wow, just goes for the reset. I'm sorry, sitting four is what am I saying? <laughs> wow, that was so ambiguous. Ooh, back strong. Oh. Four. Can never count Cody out, dude. Oh, the tension right now. Oh, he went for that flight. Nice. Oh, he got it with it again. <laughs> Trying frame traps here. Two four mediums. Nice take it for him too. Look at that, I felt like, oh, oh ba -ba -ba -da. he's got to be using forward roundhouse. You got to W down a little bit. Yeah, I agree. More forward roundhouse. He's not really going to lose anything. Oh, wow. Especially in the corner like that. Yeah. Ooh. Kicked him right in the face. Zonked him, tried to get fancy with a throw. Neutral jump, beat that. Oh no. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Goes to the reset. Just wait, keep, keep it simple on the front side. BJ blocked it. Back medium in the air. Nice. Using that standing forward to keep Abel at range. And he picks up the knife. This is gonna be a whole different game for the next couple of seconds. Oh, nice hand to air. Traded. Wow. Oh, he walked right into the EX tornado. Nice. Same patient. I like it. Both these guys, Annie Airs, are just he is, dialed in. He's going traps. for that Days. Hail Mary Stan Pierce. What? Oh, oh, he caught it for some buttons. This could be it. What's Ramin got? Come on, Shane. Oh, hands. that was not a true block string. Shift him out. That was not a true block string. He got lucky. He's gotta be he's gotta be aware of that. Alright, so now store is two for BJ, one for Ramin. And this is set point for BJ. Maybe those, uh, you know, those lights going out. Yeah, something to do with the. <laughs> Caught a break there. Yeah. Ramin was running around up. Came back with a little bit of momentum but in the last couple of matches. But all BJ. Wow. Focus through the standing forward into the tornado. Got him with a crouch strong. Nice. Light roughing and puts it back on his back. It'll be interesting to see if Ramin adapts to that light roughing kick. Ooh. Nice. Not immune to uh, regular grabs. <laughs> What was that? Jumping short? That was jumping short. <laughs> Very uh, underused normal. It's pretty good. Oh, got him off of. Uh, got him. Caught him blocking the frame traps. Threw him. Wow. Oh, caught him on the back dash. Here we go. Nice tech. Smells blood. There it is again. Wow. Ramin's pressing buttons right now. He's panicking. Oh. oh. He's he's a little bit of Paula Dean action. He's turning the butter. Oh, wow. walk up throw. Backs it back to the corner. Now nice like, combo. He had a mix up there. I think he, he was going for something else. But he's afraid of that Zonk. Well, he's throwing out something. Ramin's footsies right now are very passive. He looks scared. Cody's throwing out limbs. And Ramin should be dashing in during those recovery frames. Going for some offense off that. And he's not capitalized. Oh, jumping roundhouse. And on all fronts right here, Ramin is cracking the party. His anti airs were on point, starting to go over. Try for the reset there. Ooh! That time he finally managed to punish BJ, mashing out that EX criminal upper. Wow. Oh. That was so random. But it works. Ooh. A school. Yo! Why not, right? Yeah, Why not? Shout out. Why not? Xbox. I would have done that. In the building. Hey, yeah. Not, not a lot of options. 
That now, was his only option. <laughs> now he has options. Oh, and just like that, oh, he's getting there. Oh, I he rolls out. I respect out. that. I respect that. Oh my god. Oh, he could have done EX. Oh, for me, this grip is that was so good. That was good. Hold on this right now. He's holding on for dear life. Both these guys have the same idea going low, knock each other down, we're back into the neutral space. Three quarter screen range. Neither of these guys very uh, infamous for their three quarter screen footy game. Uh, with the. Uh... Oh, he got it with the Randy Savage! Oh, I respect that. Oh, but it only gets his light? This is done. This is done, so. Abel. Just like it's hard to make comebacks against him, sometimes it's hard for him to make comebacks. He's got to get in there. I feel what? like once BJ gets this last bar, it's over. Keeping him at bay with a, with a knife. Just mash crouch jab. You see right here, Ramin is very passive against the knife because the knife does chip damage and he has so little life. Oh, He's trying to conserve every pixel he can. Oh, he just walks right into the back medium. BJ takes it. Three, two, one.